Hi guys, Marcus here, and welcome to Chinese Entertainment Update, September sixteenth, twenty twenty one. I release episodes every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, and this is episode four hundred and thirty eight. Now, because I use Chinese names quite a bit on my show, if you want the English spelling of them, click CC for English subs. I create them myself. In today's episode, Zhao Lusi's new drama premiere date. Zhao Wei reemerges. Chen Daoming's take on traffic stars, and my first thoughts on the Bond. But first, here's what's recently premiered. My Dear Brothers is a costume drama starring Wu Qianying and Zhao Yingbo, and it premiered yesterday, September 15th. It follows a modern-day girl who gets transported to a mystical Xianxia world, where she becomes romantically involved with a high priest who happens to be her brother's arch rival. It is slated for 35 episodes and is available on YouTube. No English subs at the moment. On the Way to Hope is a modern village drama starring Neil Chow and An Yuexi, and it premiered on September 15th as well. It follows a university graduate who, with his girlfriend, goes back to his village to visit his sick mother, and ends up staying to lead poverty alleviation projects. The drama is slated for 24 episodes and is available on Tencent. No English subs at the moment. Definitely not today is a modern romance drama starring Leon Liang and Vivian Tian, and it premiered on September 15th as well. It follows a depressed young man who decides to take his own life. He goes to a nearby river to do it, but ends up saving a drowning girl. Fate intervenes and saves two lives. The drama is slated for eight episodes, so it's a mini series, and is available on YouTube with English subs. Your Sensibility, My Destiny is a costume rom-com drama starring Bu Guanqing and Wang Xingyue, and it premiered earlier today. It follows a romance that develops between a quirky girl who accidentally gets into the carriage of an aloof landlord who was born with no feelings and emotions. The drama is slated for 24 episodes and is available on iQ.com with English subs. And lastly, Sweet Sweet is a modern romance drama starring Zhao Yiqing and Ding Yiyi, and it premiered earlier today as well. It follows a romance that develops between an aircraft mechanic with a communication disability and a college graduate whose homemade ice cream is the only thing that can remedy the aircraft mechanic's condition. It's called aphasia and is actually a real-life condition that robs people of their ability to communicate. Can it really be cured by homemade ice cream? I think they used a little bit of dramatic license there. The drama is slated for 22 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. And that's it for what's recently premiered. And because there are quite a few of them, here is a recap of the dramas for your convenience. You can write them down or take a snapshot if you're so inclined. Moving on, a female student arrives at the Imperial College has announced an official premiere date. A female student arrives at the Imperial College is an upcoming costume rom-com drama starring Zhao Lusi and Xu Kaicheng, and it's confirmed a September 22nd premiere. They also released a new trailer that can be found on YouTube and some new production stills. The drama follows a romance that develops between the Imperial College's only female student, played by Zhao Lusi, and one of the city's most coveted bachelors, played by Xu Kaicheng. It's an adaptation of a novel of the same name and totally sounds like a Zhao Lusi type rom-com. More updates on it after it premieres, including where to watch with English subs. And that's it for drama stuff. Moving on, here's what's made headlines in celebrity news. We begin with this September 15th South China Morning Post article entitled "Zhao Wei Emerges in Hometown After Chinese Government Scrubs Once Powerful Actress from Internet." Zhao Wei, one of China's wealthiest actresses, star of movies such as Shaolin Soccer and dramas such as the classic My Fair Princess, was scrubbed from China's internet last month for reasons never made public. After a period of silence, she reemerged this week as pictures of her in her hometown floated social media. A couple of days ago, she was spotted at a mobile services company by residents in her hometown of Wuhu in eastern China's Anhui province. 
She was wearing a purple t-shirt, a pair of green shorts and a hat. An e-cigarette was hanging from her neck. Additionally, on September 12th, she left a comment on Chinese director Queen Alice Weibo, wishing her a happy birthday. Her simple birthday wish was met with a plethora of comments from netizens who said they love her, miss her, and support her forever. From a distant observation, it looks like Zhao Wei is taking everything in stride. She hasn't responded to any of the cancellation stuff publicly. She still makes the occasional social media post, and even pops up in public for pictures. Of course, how she really is, no one knows but her and those close to her. Next up, here's a September 13th World Journal article entitled Following China's Crackdown, Sun Li and Tiffany Tang Attend Artistic and Moral Special Training Course Following the recent crackdown in the Chinese entertainment industry, regulators have created a series of so-called morality classes for celebrities. The one in the World Journal article was recently held in Shanghai. Sun Li was one of those among the 200 industry professionals in attendance. She was interviewed and said that she found the course content meaningful and that she gained a better understanding of her social responsibilities. Also in attendance was Tiffany Tang. They sat next to each other in class. No word on who got better grades. Sun Li and Tiffany Tang have pretty clean records, so to speak, so it does make me wonder why they attended the course. There was no mention as to whether they were invited or if attendance was mandatory. In any case, we know that all celebrities are just dying to get into that course so that they can be enlightened. But as with all in-demand classes, seating is limited. But if any of you celebs are listening, I got your back. Allow me to give you a, an express 10 second crash course here. Do not take pictures at Japanese shrines. In fact, don't even go close to one to avoid implication. Do not refer to Taiwan as a nation. Do not do anything that can be interpreted as criminal or immoral. That includes surrogacy anywhere in the world. Keep your fans in check, and most importantly, pay your taxes. Moving on, here is a September 13th Modia News article entitled Chen Daoming on Traffic Stars. They are hyped up plastic actors. Chen Daoming is a 66-year-old veteran Chinese actor who's been in dramas and movies since the 80s. You guys might recognize him from more recent dramas such as Joy of Life, in which he played the emperor. Liu Liang stars or traffic stars refer to those who have the star power or popularity to draw huge amounts of traffic to a show. During a speech at a literary symposium in Beijing, he said that these traffic stars are packaged and hyped up plastic actors and have nothing to do with art. He added that they have impacted many outstanding creators' reputations. His comments caused quite a buzz and were shared and commented on by many on social media. I understand what he's trying to say and I agree with him to a certain degree. I appreciate great acting and agree that from an artistic point of view, there's a difference between, I'll just say, substance actors and traffic stars. That said, I'm also a believer in the free market. If people want to make shows with traffic stars just for the sake of getting clicks and making money, I say go for it. There's obviously an audience for them. Moving on, I recently watched the first 7 episodes of The Bond, and without giving away any spoilers, here are my first thoughts on it. As I said in my last video, I'd heard lots of good stuff about The Bond, and I finally checked it out yesterday, and I was not disappointed. I blazed through 7 episodes and loved every minute of it. A word of advice though, even in these early episodes, a box of tissues might come in handy. But not in a terrible way though, in a good way, kind of. The Bond is a retro, coming-of-age type drama starring Bai Yu, Lorena Song, and others, and it premiered on August 17th. It runs 36 episodes and is available on YouTube with English subs. Currently, it has an average 7.8 rating from over 115,000 ratings on Douban, which is quite good. Bai Yu, the star of the show, doesn't appear until episode 4, but that's okay because the kids who portray the main characters as children are terrific. And that's my main takeaway from the drama so far, is that the children are awesome. Specifically this boy, Guo Ziming, who plays the child version of Bai Yu's character. 
Guo Ziming's performance was very moving. The Bond tells the story of the Qiao family and the bond the siblings form as they grow up, fend for each other, and deal with their selfish and difficult father. Liu Jun is magnificent as the horrible father, a father so bad that I found myself rooting for the kids to run away from home. That said, he has glimpses of decency that make me feel for him because of the difficult position he's in, but still, he can do so much better. The story hasn't developed at the fastest pace, but that's okay because the drama is doing a good job at character development and creating that unbreakable bond between siblings. And there's plenty of romance in the drama as well. Each of the siblings have their own romantic plotline and they're all fun to watch. In conclusion, I'm only 7 episodes in, but I'm gonna give The Bond a recommendation already. It's well written, well directed, and well acted. And on that note, it's Thursday today, so it's time for another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's Top 10 Champions. As you guys know, every Sunday we do the Top 10 Chinese Web and TV Dramas of the Week. In this segment, I give some of my thoughts and predictions as to who the champions will be. My prediction for this Sunday's Top Web Drama is Forever and Ever, starring Ellen Run and Bai Lu. Forever and Ever seems to be on a roll. I'll back it to be champion for a second week in a row. My prediction for this Sunday's top TV drama is The Bond, starring Bai Yu and Lorena Song. Just spoke about it, loving it, and backing it to be champion for a second week in a row. And that's been another segment of my predictions for this Sunday's top 10 champions. And before I let you guys go, I want to give big virtual hugs to Anthony Lozano and Claudia Rack, who recently became patrons on my Patreon. Thank you for your support, guys. And that brings us to the end of this episode. If you want to check out the Legend of Fate t-shirt or other Chinese drama merchandise, there's a link to it in the description below. And this show wouldn't be possible without you guys tuning in, so I thank you all for your support. If you enjoyed it, do subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button for more updates. If you'd like to contribute, check out my Patreon page, where for a dollar or more a month, you'll have access to perks like recaps, requests, and have your questions answered. So stay safe, and as always, I wish you clear blue skies, good health, and happiness. Until next time, cheers! <laughs>